Sally had three quarter as much money as Zoe. So Sally to Zoe. Okay, this is the amount of money. Let's put it as at first. Three is to four. Okay, so Sally and Zoe shared the cost of a present. In this ratio two is to three. All right, and it says that Sally used fifty percent of her money to pay. All right, so fifty percent of her money, which is exactly half. So it will be more convenient if you wish to use your units in terms of a number. Okay, that is divisible by two because fifty percent is halved. All right. So trying this out, so you you can do a quick check here. Three is to four. All right. So if you times two, this will give us six to eight. All right. So subtracting three. All right. But this ratio that is given out for the cost of the that is spent because of the cost of the present is supposed to be shared according to this ratio, two is to three. So that means whatever I see here must be the same as two is to three as well. Okay. Right. However, there's a difference here. This one, this number is three. This is two. Okay. They are not the same. So I'll use lowest common multiple, which is six times two. So if I multiply this by two. My initial ratios to have started off with twice. All right, so start this off as six times two is twelve. So I'm going to multiply four instead of two. So starting the question again, three quarter as much as Sally, three quarter as much money as Zoe. Okay, so starting as twelve is to sixteen instead. Okay, this is also three quarter. Okay, so three is to four is still correct. Now. Sally used half her money, half her money because fifty fifty percent is half. So Sally used half. I'm gonna start with twelve units. So let's take away six. Okay. So half is six. So left another half. Okay. So six units left. Right. So keeping in mind, this is what we use the six for because we have to keep this um, using whole numbers. Okay. So six times three here will be nine. So the cost of the present is shared according to this ratio, six to nine. Okay, which is also your two is to three. Okay, since they multiply with the same number, so check that this part here, which is for the spend for the cost of the present. All right, spend, open up present. Okay, is still two is to three. Okay, six to nine is still two is to three. So this will be correct, and sixteen minus nine units, so Zoe would have seven units left. Okay, and given the questions, seven units would be the eighty-four dollars that Zoe had left. So seven units, eighty-four dollars. One unit, eighty-four divided by seven, which is twelve dollars. Okay, part A. How much did Sally pay for the passive present? Okay, part A. Okay, present is over here, right? And Sally paid six units, not this two, this six units. So I just use six units as twelve dollars times six. So Sally paid seventy-two dollars for the present. Part B. What is the cost of the present? Okay, so cost of present again, looking at present. Not two is to three, six to nine. So the total number of units would be this two, six plus nine, which is fifteen units. So finding fifteen units, we we'll just use one unit as twelve dollars times fifteen. The cost of present hundred eighty dollars.